Donald Trump is undoubtedly one of the most controversial figures in recent American history. From his mysterious family dynamics to his connections with foreign powers, Trump has been at the center of numerous debates and discussions. One thing is certain, he is never boring. Take a look at what happened. The recent event of an attempted assassination of Donald Trump makes us take a second look at the controversies surrounding him and his family, specifically his young song, Baron Trump. Number one, attempted assassination. There have been many attempts at taking the life of a presidential candidate in the history of US, but not many were more shocking and more mysterious than the one attempted at Donald Trump. Take a look at what happened. Moments after the shooting and initial shock, here was rampant speculation about the entire event. The alleged gunman seen climbing to the roof just minutes before opening fire at that rally. People wondered how the shooter was able to get into a position with a clear view of Trump and why he was not stopped sooner. You can actually hear people in the crowd yelling to an officer, pointing him out. Right here, right on the roof! The incident occurred in what was supposed to be a highly secure area, which only added to the confusion and concern. He's going down! He's going the location of the Trump family was also not known at that time, specifically his son, Baron, and wife, Melania, which raises many interesting questions as to why they were not there that day. As the details of the incident began to emerge, it became evident that there were multiple lapses in security. How the shooter managed to gain access to such a vantage point without being detected raised serious questions about the effectiveness of the protective measures in place. <laughs> Number two, Barron and Donald Trump's relationship. The youngest son of former President Donald Trump, Barron Trump, has had an understated presence in the Trump family narrative. Known for his tall and slender look, Barron has often preferred to stay out of the public eye, keeping his own identity despite his father's looming presence over the whole family. While there are rumors of a distant relationship between Donald and Barron, there are moments that hint at a more complex dynamic. Donald has publicly praised Barron as smart, however, anecdotes from insiders suggest that their relationship may not be as close as the former president portrays. Journalists noted that Trump once compared Barron's cool demeanor to his own, suggesting mutual respect. Interestingly, Barron's interactions with his father sometimes reflect typical teenage aloofness. For instance, during a dinner at Mar-a-Lago, Barron humorously pointed out his father's tendency to play music loudly, a playful jab at Trump's sometimes overwhelming presence at home. Number three, Russian agent. The theory that Donald Trump is a potential Russian agent has been one of the most speculated conspiracy theories in recent times. The idea kicked off with the infamous Steele dossier, which suggested that Trump had been compromised by Russian intelligence. This led to talk about Trump being a Manchurian candidate under the control of Vladimir Putin. Late night talk show programs had a field day with this, depicting Trump as Putin's puppet. One element of this theory involved Trump's frequent praise of Putin and his reluctance to criticize the Russian leader. Even the Trump Tower meeting with a Russian lawyer was spun into a narrative that suggested that it was part of an elaborate spy plot. The conspiracy theory continues to thrive in pop culture, keeping the idea alive and fueling a lot of memes and jokes online. Number four, the deep state. Here's my plan to dismantle the deep state and reclaim our democracy. The idea of Donald Trump battling against the deep state has been one of the most intriguing narratives in modern politics. Portrayed as a shadowy group of bureaucrats and elites working behind the scenes, the deep state has been blamed for everything from government inefficiency to conspiracies against Trump himself. Trump's dramatic proclamations about draining the swamp and rooting out these unseen adversaries have added a layer of intrigue to his political persona. 
This narrative was particularly fueled by Trump's frequent tweets and speeches, where he suggested that a secretive and powerful group was actively working to undermine his administration. Supporters of Trump enjoyed depicting him as a modern-day superhero, bravely battling the hidden forces of the deep state. Number five, Stormy Daniels' cover-up. The Stormy Daniels' cover-up saga is one of the most colorful chapters in the Trump presidency, giving the presidential elections a dose of soap opera. The story begins with an adult film star, Stormy Daniels, claiming she had an affair with Donald Trump in 2006. Mother Teresa could not beat these charges. These charges are rigged. The twist to this story comes with the hush money payment of $130,000 made to Daniels just before the 2016 presidential election, allegedly to keep the affair quiet. The idea of a future president being involved in such a Hollywood-esque scandal was too juicy to ignore, so it fueled a lot of talk and jokes in popular culture forums. Trump's personal lawyer, Michael Cohen, famously stated that he paid Daniels out of his own pocket, a claim that sparked widespread skepticism and amusement. This presidential scandal fueled a ton of theories and gave us something to talk about other than the boring political issues. Number six, bioweapon. Despite lacking solid evidence, the whole COVID-19 situation gave a lot of interesting and imaginative theories. Originating from Wuhan, China, the virus's sudden emergence led some to suggest it was part of a covert biological warfare program gone awry. In the world of social media speculation, we get a lot of talk about secret labs and government cover-ups. Theories ranged from the virus being a deliberate release to a lab accident that escaped containment. One popular theory suggested that COVID-19 was designed to target political adversaries or even alter global economies to favor certain superpowers. Despite the serious implications and the real human cost, the COVID-19 bioweapon theory highlights how the fear sometimes manifests itself in a good conspiracy story. Number seven, election fraud. The 2020 US presidential election was a goldmine for hot takes on election fraud. Despite serious allegations and multiple investigations, the theories surrounding election fraud often took on a life of their own, providing material for real and wannabe comedians. One of the most popular narratives involved the idea of secret watermarks on ballots, a theory suggesting that the government had a covert way to verify legitimate votes. Another angle was the concept of dead voters. Allegations that deceased individuals had somehow cast ballots sparked jokes about ghosts haunting polling stations and zombies emerging from graves to exercise their democratic rights. Late night shows like The Daily Show and Last Week Tonight poked fun at the various lawsuits and press conferences held by Trump's legal team, especially the infamous Four Seasons Total Landscaping Incident. This bizarre location mix-up became a symbol of the chaotic and often surreal nature of the election fraud claims. In the end, while the accusations were serious and the investigations thorough, the speculation and humor helped the public navigate the turbulent post-election period with a bit of levity and laughter. Number eight, Hillary Clinton's emails. Hillary Clinton's emails have been a very controversial topic in American politics. The issue began in 2015 when it was revealed that Clinton, during her tenure as Secretary of State, used a private email server for official government communications. That was more than a mistake. That was done purposely. This revelation sparked a number of investigations, debates, and a range of conspiracy theories. It was also one of the main talking points for Hillary's political opponent, Donald Trump. Deleting 39,000 emails? Again, you should be ashamed of yourself. Trump used the email scandal to portray Clinton as untrustworthy and to question her judgment. He argued that her handling of classified information demonstrated a lack of respect for national security protocols, contrasting it with his promise to restore integrity and security to the government. 
The controversy mainly centered around concerns over national security and the potential mishandling of classified information. Defenders of Clinton maintained that this was standard practice with the previous secretaries of state who have also used private email accounts and that the focus on her emails was politically motivated. The FBI conducted an extensive investigation and, in July 2016, found that Clinton had been extremely careless in handling classified information, there was no evidence of intentional wrongdoing or criminal activity. Despite this, the email scandal continued to haunt Clinton throughout the 2016 presidential campaign, with opponents frequently chanting, lock her up, at rallies and events. Number 9. Trump and UFOs The theory that Trump, known for his unfiltered remarks and penchant for breaking norms, was on the verge of revealing the existence of extraterrestrial life and disclosing secret government knowledge about UFOs and aliens has been very popular with UFOs and alien enjoyers. Given Trump's social media habits, it was not too far-fetched to imagine him casually tweeting about alien visitors and revealing the top secrets about UFOs. The Space Force, a branch of the military established during Trump's presidency, added a layer of intrigue and amusement to these speculations. Furthermore, reports of Trump's alleged conversations with Israeli space officials claiming that a galactic federation was waiting for humanity to reach a stage where we will understand what space and spaceships are added fuel to the fire. Number 10. Trump's Secret Pardons One of the more intriguing speculations around Donald Trump's presidency involves the possibility of secret pardons. Toward the end of his term, Trump issued a flurry of high-profile pardons, including to individuals like Roger Stone, Paul Manafort, and Michael Flynn. However, rumors and theories persist that he may have also issued undisclosed pardons to protect himself and his closest allies from future legal trouble. The US Constitution grants the president broad pardon powers, allowing for pardons to be issued for federal crimes. Although pardons are typically publicized, there is no legal requirement that they must be disclosed immediately. This loophole fuels speculation that Trump might have preemptively pardoned himself, his family members, or close associates to shield them from potential investigations and prosecutions. In December 2020, reports surfaced that Trump discussed the possibility of preemptive pardons with his legal team, which included conversations about pardoning himself, his children, and personal lawyer Rudy Giuliani. The idea of a self-pardon is unprecedented and legally gray, sparking debate among constitutional scholars. Trump's controversial presidency and the numerous investigations into his activities make the notion of secret pardons particularly tantalizing. If true, such pardons could complicate future legal proceedings, potentially igniting significant legal battles over their validity and scope. Number 11. Ties to Saudi Arabia during the campaign for the 2016 elections and also his presidency, Trump's ties to Saudi Arabia were under big scrutiny in the public eye. Trump has made several high-profile visits to Saudi Arabia starting in 2017. In 2015, Trump openly stated that he liked the Saudis because they buy apartments from me. They spend $40 million, $50 million. These comments highlighted the significant investments made by Saudi entities in Trump's real estate projects over the years. During his presidency, Trump maintained a close relationship with Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, even amid controversies surrounding the journalist Jamal Khashoggi. Trump's administration faced criticism for its response to Khashoggi's situation, with some alleging that Trump's business interests influenced his diplomatic stance. Despite international outcry, Trump emphasized the importance of the economic and strategic relationship between the US and Saudi Arabia. Number 12. Baron Trump's Future Role Baron Trump, 
the youngest member of the Trump family, has long intrigued the public with his towering height and reserved demeanor. As he continues to grow, both literally and figuratively, speculation about his potential future in leadership is inevitable. Envisioning Barron in future leadership roles feels like something out of a political drama series. Some speculate whether he might follow in his father's footsteps or carve out his unique path. Barron's relatively private life has led to light-hearted discussions about what kind of leader he might become. Would he be the silent strategist, working effectively behind the scenes? Or perhaps the charismatic frontman, surprising everyone with his eloquence and poise? Some envision him bringing a fresh perspective to the Trump legacy, blending traditional values with modern sensibilities. During Trump's presidency, Barron's rare public appearances and stoic expressions only added to his enigmatic aura. This has fueled speculation that he might emerge as a political prodigy, with potential roles ranging from a savvy diplomat to a tech-savvy innovator in government. While it's all in good fun for now, the world will be watching to see how Baron Trump's story unfolds. Whether he chooses to step into the spotlight or stay behind the scenes, the speculation about his future role in leadership continues to be a source of curiosity and conversation. Number 13. Trump's War on Human Trafficking Donald Trump's self-declared war on human trafficking has been one of the more serious aspects of his administration. Throughout his presidency, Trump frequently highlighted his administration's efforts to combat human trafficking, making bold claims and holding high-profile events to raise awareness. Trump's approach sometimes seemed like something out of an action movie. His speeches often included sweeping declarations about dismantling trafficking networks and rescuing victims, painting a picture of a tireless crusader against evil. In reality, the administration took concrete steps, such as signing executive orders and increasing funding for anti-trafficking initiatives. But Trump's flair for the dramatic turned these efforts into a central narrative of his presidency. He frequently mentioned human trafficking during rallies, framing it as a key issue that his administration was uniquely positioned to tackle. Critics sometimes viewed these declarations with skepticism, questioning the actual impact of his policies versus the rhetoric. Nonetheless, the image of Trump as a staunch defender of human trafficking has become a memorable part of his legacy, complete with the kind of grandiosity that often characterized his public persona. Number 14. The Trump Dossier The Trump Dossier, also known as the Steele Dossier, has become one of the most talked-about documents in recent political history. Compiled by former British intelligence officer Christopher Steele, the dossier contains a series of memos detailing alleged connections between Donald Trump and Russia, including some unverified and controversial claims. The dossier's content includes allegations of collusion between the Trump campaign and Russian operatives, as well as accusations of compromising personal behavior by Trump. The document was initially funded as opposition research by Trump's political opponents, which further fueled debate over its credibility and intent. Despite the serious implications, the dossier's release has led to a wide array of public reactions. It became a central element in investigations conducted by the FBI and special counsel Robert Mueller, which sought to determine the extent of Russian interference in the 2016 presidential election and any potential coordination with the Trump campaign. Although the Mueller report did not substantiate many of the dossier's specific claims, it highlighted ongoing concerns about foreign influence in US politics. Number 15, martial law. After the 2020 presidential election, there was a lot of buzz about Donald Trump potentially declaring martial law to challenge the results. This idea picked up steam when Michael Flynn, Trump's former national security advisor, suggested using military resources to rerun the election in key states. Naturally, this sparked intense discussions and speculation about what might happen next. 
The talk of martial law reached a peak when it was reported that the idea came up during a White House meeting. This led to widespread concern and debate over whether Trump would take such drastic measures to contest the election outcome. However, officials like Attorney General William Barr and Defense Secretary Christopher Miller quickly shut down the idea, making it clear that the military wouldn't get involved in electoral disputes. Despite the rumors and dramatic headlines, there was no solid evidence that Trump seriously pursued the option of martial law. The military and other key officials dismissed it as not being on the table. This period highlighted the intense and sometimes chaotic atmosphere of Trump's final weeks in office, reflecting broader concerns about democracy and the peaceful transfer of power. Number 16. Epstein Connection Donald Trump and Jeffrey Epstein's connection has been a topic of much discussion and curiosity. Both men, prominent in their respective fields, moved in the same elite social circles and were known to have crossed paths multiple times. Epstein, a financier with a notorious history, and Trump, a real estate mogul who later became president, shared mutual friends and attended many of the same high society events. One notable instance is a 2002 New York Magazine article where Trump referred to Epstein as a terrific guy and commented on his fondness for women, adding that many were on the younger side. This quote has frequently been cited in discussions about their relationship and has come back to haunt Donald multiple times. Imagining their interactions often brings to mind lavish parties at Mar-a-Lago, where both were known to socialize. These gatherings, filled with the rich and famous, likely saw Trump and Epstein engaging in conversations about wealth and influence. Their connection, however, became a source of significant controversy, especially after Epstein's arrest and subsequent death in 2019. The media has also played a significant role in shaping the narrative around their association. Number 17. The Bertha Movement the Bertha Movement, which questioned Barack Obama's birthplace, gained significant traction largely due to Donald Trump's vocal support. Back in 2011, Trump began publicly demanding to see Obama's birth certificate, suggesting that the then-president might not have been born in the United States and was therefore ineligible for the presidency. This move brought Trump a lot of media attention and became a central part of his public persona. Trump's involvement in the Bertha movement wasn't just a fleeting comment. He consistently pressed the issue in interviews and on social media. In 2011, Obama responded by releasing his long-form birth certificate, which confirmed his birth in Honolulu, Hawaii. Even after the birth certificate was released, Trump didn't completely drop the issue until his 2016 presidential campaign, when he finally acknowledged that Obama was born in the U.S., though he shifted the blame to Hillary Clinton's 2008 campaign for starting the rumors. Number 18. Space Force Donald Trump's creation of the Space Force certainly sparked a lot of conversations and speculation. Announced in 2018, the Space Force became the sixth branch of the U.S. military, and Trump was keen to highlight its importance. He presented it as a necessary step to protect American interests in space and to maintain dominance over other nations in the final frontier. Trump's announcement came with his usual flair. He envisioned a future where the Space Force would guard against potential threats and ensure that the US remains a leader in space exploration and security. His speeches often depicted the Space Force as a critical initiative to defend against both terrestrial and extraterrestrial dangers, making it sound like a plot straight out of a sci-fi movie. The idea of Trump talking about space and aliens in his signature no-nonsense-and-everything-goes style is certainly something even his haters would like to see. Despite the humor that could be found in the situation, the establishment of the Space Force was a significant move, reflecting the growing importance of space in national security and technological advancement. 
Trump's push for the Space Force highlighted his administration's focus on innovation and defense, aiming to ensure that the U.S. remains at the forefront of space capabilities. Number 19. Melania Trump, a spy. The notion that Melania Trump might be a Russian spy is one of the more outlandish and entertaining conspiracy theories that has circulated about the Trump family. This theory suggests that Melania, who was born in Slovenia and speaks multiple languages, was placed in Donald Trump's life by Russian intelligence to influence his political decisions. Supporters of this theory often cite Melania's mysterious past and her discreet presence during Trump's presidency as potential indicators of a covert role. They speculate that her early career in modeling and her move to the United States could have been part of an elaborate cover story orchestrated by Russian operatives. The theory imagines Melania using her position to gather intelligence and subtly steer Trump's actions in favor of Russian interests. Adding to the intrigue, some point to Melania's interactions with Russian President Vladimir Putin and other Russian officials as further evidence of her alleged spy activities. Despite the playful and imaginative nature of this theory, there is no concrete evidence to support the idea that Melania Trump is a Russian spy. Number 20. Eric Trump's Secret Deals Eric Trump, the second son of Donald Trump, has often been the subject of speculation regarding his business dealings. Some conspiracy theories suggest that Eric has been involved in secretive and possibly shady international business transactions, leveraging his father's presidency to expand the Trump Organization's global footprint. Proponents of this theory point to the increased international activity of the Trump Organization during and after Donald Trump's presidency. They argue that Eric, who manages the company along with his brother Don Jr., has secured lucrative deals in foreign markets, possibly involving undisclosed partners or questionable practices. The theory imagines Eric jetting off to clandestine meetings in exotic locations, negotiating deals that would make even the most seasoned business magnates envious. Despite these playful allegations, Eric Trump has publicly maintained that all business operations are conducted legally and ethically. He emphasizes that the Trump Organization has continued to thrive based on its established brand and reputation, not due to any covert dealings or influence peddling. That's all we've got for you today. What do you think of the controversial theories surrounding the infamous Donald Trump? Don't forget to like the video, hit the notification button, and subscribe to the channel. That's all for today. Stay tuned for more content coming up.